Uh, can, can I point out in Scotland performs over the period since 2007, there have been substantial rises in the vast majority of, of the indices. But can I pick up on one point of, uh, of detail? Because I, I looked very carefully. Uh, I was surprised at the comparator between UK and Scottish growth, because uh, Scotland had a shallower recession and a faster recovery. Uh, and I found out that it's not because uh, Scotland has fallen behind the UK. It is because the UK have revised their statistics. That George Osborne, in his keenness and anxiety to revise the UK statistics and the Scottish ones haven't been revised as yet, included the black economy. Yes. It, it included a whole range of matters which it wouldn't be delicate to go into uh, in this Parliament. He included charitable work, uh, which, given the Tories' treatment of the third sector, I thought was a, a, a bit rich, and as a result managed to inflate the UK growth figures. And what happened? They were then surprised when they were landed a £1.7 billion <laughs> bill by the European <laughs> Union. Not because the economy had improved, but because they'd instructed the officials and statisticians to change the statistics. It's not surprising to any of us that the Tory party depend on the record by including the black economy in the figures. This is what they've been doing uh, for the generation, but in true generosity of spirit to, to Ruth Davidson. I, I know that, uh, as yet at least, uh, she hasn't managed to revive the fortunes of the Scottish Conservative Party. I thought the 8% in last week's opinion polls was a particularly unlikely uh, figure, but certainly single figures seems to be the direction in which they're heading. However, she has a single, almost monumental political triumph. She's destroyed the fortunes of the other opposition parties <laughs> in this Parliament. She destroyed the fortunes of the Liberal Party by going into coalition with them at Westminster. And she destroyed the fortunes of the Labour Party by the Better Together Alliance. In that respect, on the judgment, on the criteria of destroying other opposition political parties, Ruth Davison is undoubtedly the most brilliant political leader in the history of the Scottish Parliament. Well,